do portable sink and toilet combos work? Let's find out. What's going on? It's Samantha from Lone Crow Adventures, the channel where we talk about all things camping, hiking, and backpacking. Today, we're investigating portable toilet and sink combo kits to find out if they're worth the investment for either your RV or your posh glamping setup. Let's go. Number one or number two, la toilette. This is the first component of the toilet and sink combo kit. It is the portable toilet. And this one is made by Yida Home. You lift up the seat. You see we've got a nice shaped seat for you to rest the can on while you're sitting on the can. And it does have an automatic flusher, but we will hook up the sink to show you the full functionality of that. Flip it around to the back here. It's got a handle on the waste receptacle and also one on the main toilet receptacle so that way you can carry this to the dump station very easily without getting any nasty stuff on you. Now you might hear some water sloshing around in there. That's not number one, that's just water. I had this hooked up earlier and I was just testing it out before I filmed. So don't be alarmed. This is the sink part of the toilet sink combo unit. It has a nice trusty handle right here as well. When I carry it, I like to just kind of support it from the pedestal and then carry it with this carry handle. This is where your fresh clean water is going to be coming from. So it gets pretty heavy because this receptacle holds 17 liters of water. So it's pretty darn toot and heavy once you get it filled up. So you need two hands to transport it. Now, I would recommend filling the sink before you attach it to the toilet. And to do so, we have a little valve right here, a little screw top that comes off. And then you can fill this with water, either from a potable water container, or you can fill it directly from a tap. This is a view from the back of the sink. There's a few things you're gonna have to put together. First, you have to take this cylinder, screw it onto this base, and then this sink pops right on the top. And it's kind of a tension mounted affair. And it's kind of hard to get on there. So don't use a hammer, you can use a rubber mallet gently, but if you're having a tough time getting this part and this part to snap in together, you may want to just spray a little bit of WD-40 or even some vegetable oil on the bottom of that pops right in and then you're good to go. The other thing that you need to hook up is this tube right here to this little faucet. That is where the water is going to come up and down through the faucet. There's a couple features on the sink that I'd like to show you. The first is the built in soap pump. So this just unscrews and I've got some soap in there. I've got some Sea to Summit Wilderness Wash. This thing right here is an itsy bitsy little built-in soap dish for bar soap. So you can go ahead, put your bar soap on here. It has a little trough to let the water run underneath the bar soap and out so it doesn't get all gummy and gross. And then to hold it in position, you just slide that right over top of your bar of soap. Now I don't use bar soap, but for anyone who does, that's absolutely ingenious. Getting the sink hooked up to the toilet is really, really easy. You take this piece here. So you have this, slide it down in here, push it down, then it's just got a screw top that fastens it tight. Now the premise of a system like this is that you're using a foot pump to activate the water to come out the faucet that goes in the sink. The sink drains down this tube into a receptacle inside the toilet. Now the toilet has two tanks. It has one tank where your waste goes. So when you go to the bathroom and you flush the toilet, all of the waste and toilet paper and everything goes into one tank. The other tank that this water drains into is the gray water that's left over from the sink. So after you've washed your hands with soap, that soapy water drains into here 
and then that's the water that you use to flush the toilet with. One big mistake that a lot of people make when using a portable toilet and sink combo is that they forget that the toilet has a second clean water receptacle. So they'll sit down, do their business, go to flush and think, it doesn't even work, there's no water coming out. And that's because there's no water inside that tank. So to avoid that problem, use the best practice of once you get this set up, go ahead and give that sink foot pump about 15 to 20 pumps, just to allow a little bit of water into the reservoir inside the toilet. So that way you've got some water to use for the flush cycle when you sit down to do your business. I'm ready to wash my hands. I've got my sleeves rolled up. I'm gonna go ahead and take some soap, lather it all up. Once I'm ready to rinse, I go ahead and put my foot on the pedal and I just give it a push and I have to pump it about four times for a complete hand rinse cycle. Beautiful. So let's go ahead and take a look at how the flush function of the toilet works. Now you can flush the toilet with the lid either closed or open, but I'm gonna open it up just for demonstration. Now to use the flush function, you pull up on this little valve here and it's got some suction to it. So you gotta pull and then push down. And you can see you get really good coverage around the inside of that bowl. And you see that water is nice and soapy, which means it's washing away your waste with some nice suds. And once you've got an acceptable amount of water to make your waste go down, you go ahead and reach forward for this little lever. Close it back up and you're good to go. One of the other things that you'll notice here is this indicator window. Once this window turns to red, that's it. Time to empty. The easiest way to do this is go ahead and just disconnect the sink and get that collapsible hose right out of the way. We've got clean water in the top, so we'll go ahead and dump that first. Now this toilet features a handle, really easy to operate. You can go ahead and you can take the clean water receptacle right off the top. Or they do provide a replacement cap that you can screw on here temporarily if you have to transport this gray water to a dump station. This is where all the nasty goes. So as long as you've got this handle closed, you can go ahead and carry this around. You've got a handle here. You can carry this and bring this to the nearest dump station to dispose of waste. So is it worth it to purchase a portable sink and toilet combo kit? Well, depending on what your needs are, I would say yes. If you have a small camper and you don't have a bathroom inside of that camper, this can be a really nice option, especially if you're camping with little ones, because you know how messy that they get. And I know from personal experience, taking my nephew out camping, he wasn't having anything to do with that pit toilet. So it would have been nice to have something like this for him so that he could use because the little kids just aren't as rough and tumble as the rest of us. You could also take a look at getting a portable toilet shelter, which I will link that video right up here if you wanna check out my glamping bathroom. So for me, it is a worthwhile investment but go ahead, check out the links in the description below if you wanna find out more information about these products and give them a try for yourself and see what you think. Until next time, folks, we'll see you on the trail.